Hello guys, welcome to Warren's Model Aircraft and Warren's um, classic Cold War classic group build. Um, I did um, a photo slideshow today on um, the Lightning and I've actually put the varnish on now, the gloss varnish, and it's actually brought out all the pre shading underneath, which wasn't really shown as much before, but it's really, really come out now. I've put the um, gloss varnish on so I thought I'd give you a, a peek at that um, and once I've done this video there's like the nose cone the the cowling what goes over the nose cone I'm going to put that on also the nose cone itself needs to be painted like a dark green um, I think it's 78 I think so I'm going to do that as well and then I'm going to call it a night and go inside and have a chill out. So, without further ado, I would just like to um, say I like everybody's remembrance videos and everything. Um, very well done to everybody. Absolutely brilliant. Bring a tear to your eye, especially me being so patriotic. Right, you ready, boys? This is the Lightning 148 scale by Airfix. There we go. As you can see, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. as you can see, you can see all the pre-shading coming through now, which weren't showing on the varnish here, here, across here, down here, up by the tail fin, on the small tail fins there. You can see it all coming through now. As you can see. There you go. See all the pre shading here, across here, there, and down there. And there is one little, uh, and I've done a like a a really not not a weathering as such, but where the paint's faded and corroded effect underneath, which it comes out. What's come out like? Oh god. It's come out like this. You can see it. There you go. There you go. Which has come out quite well, considering that's the first time I've tried it. It's like a a sort of weathered um, paint fading look. Sort of, and it's come out quite well. You can see. One thing I found out with this model, which, I'm, which uh, I'm finding a bit odd, um, for some reason, the tail fin is um, flat on the top, but for some reason, they've given me. A tail fin what's rounded but all three of the versions of, of this aircraft have all got flat tail fins so I do not understand why I've got a spare tail fin what's completely different because all the versions have got the flat t tail fin I'll give you a quick I'll show you look so it's the one I'm doing flat tail fin There's the other version, flat tail fin, <laughs> and there is the other version, flat tail fin. So why they've gave me a tail fin with a rounded end on it, I haven't got a clue. <clears throat> Strange. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. Pre shading. Well, the way I've done this, I won't. Have, I don't think. The re what I've been trying to do, I've been experimenting to try and get the weathering effect without actually putting um, weathering wash on at the end, and I'm just sort of getting the look that I want. 
I would like these bits down here a bit darker because all the nooks and crannies always um, collect the dirt more. Um, but to be honest, apart from that, I'm quite happy with the weathering. <coughs> Jeez, mate. There's the cone. This this isn't fixed yet. I've just put it on. That that's got to be green, and obviously that's uh, chrome. Well, it's supposed to be um, a mix of chrome and silver, but I've actually got chrome and silver paint and silver paint and you put them together and there's no difference whatsoever so I've just painted it silver so I'm going to do that in a minute um, and that'll be it I just thought I'd show you the, um, how the gloss has really brought out the pre-shading underneath it's really come out really well um, I don't know what build I'm going to do next because my girlfriend's pregnant and the baby's due on 18th, the 18th of September, September, December, sorry. So I don't think I'm going to be doing much more after this group build. So that'll probably be it for me until um, after Christmas. I might, if I've got time, if everything goes well and there's no problems, then I might start one. But I don't think I will be, to be honest. Right then, that's uh, the lightning for you. Thought I'd um, share the experience of what the pre shading the gloss has done for the pre shading because you can actually do it and think, oh, oh, it hasn't done it enough. But as soon as you put that gloss varnish on, it really enhances the pre shading, it really does. Oh, well, you compare that to the daylight video slideshow I did earlier. It looks completely different on the pre shading. Anyway, right. Right, I'd just like to say um, a big thank you to everybody for joining my group build um, Frankie and Steve and Bill. Um, Speedy was going to, but he's not. He said he's got lack of funds, so he's not joining this one, which is fair enough. No problem, Speedy. Um, really liking your um, Backstar Galactica group build, um, Alex. I was going to join it, but I sent you a message asking you how long it was going to go on for, but I didn't get a reply back, so I didn't go and purchase the Viper, which I was looking at on Amazon. Because obviously I've got this group build and I haven't got a lot of time. I've only got a couple of hours a night. Um, so I didn't want to start something which I wouldn't have time to finish. That's why I was asking, you know, if the group build was for a month, then I could have done it. But if it's only for a week or two, I wouldn't have no, no chance of getting it finished, mate. So that's why I haven't entered. Just letting you know. Right, boys. Oh, and um, yes, um, Pete. Pete's hobbies. Yes, yeah, so I've been. Um, I did actually try and get a gaming PC from eBay. It was 180 pound. It was quite a uh, decent uh, second-hand gaming PC, but I paid the money out, and the bloke never sent it. Tried to rip me off. Um, luckily, I managed because eBay they've got a money-back guarantee thing now. So it took me 20 odd days, but I did get my 180 pound back. Um, and then I thought, after that, I thought, that's the first time I've bought anything off eBay. And that happened to me. Um, and I looked on his ratings, and apparently he's had good ratings apart from the last six weeks. For some reason, he started um, putting things on there and then taking the money and not delivering the items for some reason in that six weeks. But before that, his history was great. Um, so I'm not going to go on there anymore. If it's for... I've never bought models on there, but if it was for a model, then yeah, I might have a look. Cause it's not that expensive, is it? I'm not paying 108 pound again, and it took me 20 days to get it back. Um, and then, I, and then I was just rooting around on the internet, and apparently they're bringing out War Thunder for the PS4 about Christmas time, and a, and the graphics are going to be better on the PS4 than what they are on the PCs at the moment because it's got an 8 core processor apparently next generation graphics card and the um, graphics framing 
per second is supposed to be quicker than any game in PC what's out at the moment so plus the PlayStation 4 is cheaper than if I was to get something of that standard in a gaming PC it would cost you anything from six to a thousand pounds and I can have all that quality and more for 350 quid so I'm getting that instead right that's about it for me um, thinking of all the boys for the Rembrandt State catch you later boys stay lucky happy modeling be good for your parents if you're over the if you're under the age of 18.